The second step in beating procrastinations and selling is break it down. Break it down. Let me give you a story. Many years ago, I used to be afraid of swimming. Now we're talking, this is many years ago because today, of course, I love swimming. Yet I remember as, as if it was yesterday, my brother Hanny took me by the hands and put me at the corner of the pool. And he told me, Ramiz, I want you to try and get to the other side, just a small distance. So I'm going to be right behind you. There's a small distance. You can cross it. Go for it. So I did. Now he said, great, do it again. Go a little bit further. And then a little bit further, a little bit further. And within about 10, 15 minutes, he had showed me that actually I was swimming by simply breaking it down. Are you breaking it down for yourself, for your teams? <laughs> Hi, my name is Ramis Helu. I'm the founder and keynote speaker of the Academy for Sales Excellence, where I simply speak at events and conferences to inspire, educate, and motivate sales teams to sell more, faster, and profitably. So breaking it down is really, is it that big of a deal? Yes, unfortunately, I've been with lots of sales professionals that are overwhelmed by the big lofty goals that either they have to achieve or they want to achieve or their companies give them so that they can achieve. By breaking it down, you can, what we call, reduce things to the smallest measurable unit. And all what you got to do is do that little small thing. Ramis, you can do that little small thing. Like just go that one side to here. Just, just cross that one small bit. So you have to understand what is that small thing for you. So here's an example. Let's say you want to earn $10,000 in, uh, in, in, in earning. So if you make 10% commissions, it means you have to do $100,000 in sales, right? If the average order that you produce is $10,000, therefore you have to make 10 orders. 10 orders at 10,000 each is 100,000, at 10% commission is your $10,000. Let's suppose you have a 50% closing ratio. That means that you have to, um, to make 10 sales, <laughs> excuse me, you have to have 20 prospects. You have to have visited and met with 20 people. So if you divide 20 people into four weeks, you have to see five people per week. Five people, that's it. It's like one person a day. Come on, it's one person a day. So how many phone calls you have to do to get one person a day? Now, what is that? Five, 10, whatever the numbers are. See, you can go to work every morning and say, I have to just get my 10 calls in. I want to get my 10 calls in so that I achieve what I want to do by breaking it down. Can you do 10 calls a day? Anybody can do 10 calls a day, <laughs> okay? So those 10 calls a day help you get to where you want to go. And that's it. By breaking it down, you'll feel a lot more relaxed and you'll be able to, in the morning, concentrate on that little thing that will make a big difference. Many years ago, I heard a quote that said um, that life isn't wasted in, uh, in days or isn't wasted in weeks or months or years. Yet life is wasted in the smallest moments of our lives, which is the seconds that make these moments. And another quote I heard that goes something like you, you cannot change your life in a, in, a, in a second, okay? You can't change your life in a second. However, it takes only one second to make a decision to change your life. And my question to you is, is that second right now? Break it down. Break down whatever big lofty goal you have and you'll see the results start fumbling or coming to you as simple steps. So. Until next time, sell more, sell faster and profitably. And by the way, if you like these ideas, share them with other individuals. And if you have specific questions in terms of how to break numbers for you, just simply uh, make a few comments and I'll personally give you some, uh, some responses. See you next time.